a majority of the leading cause of death for people under the age of 35 is people making mistakes when they're driving. Safety. A constant point of emphasis for the automobile industry, who in 2010 welcomed a new partner to aid in the effort to reduce vehicle deaths. Ohio State is not a place that says we cannot do something. The question is always, why not? We were approached by individuals from Honda R&D Infotainment. They came to see us and asked us if we were interested in partnering with them on building a driving simulation lab. It became obvious to uh, Honda that they weren't just looking at it from an engineering point of view. They brought people in from neuroscience, they brought people in from psychology, speech and hearing, all these other science areas that really were very interesting to us and had a lot to offer. And that offer, that collaboration, is really what drove us to, to pick Ohio State. In 2012, Ohio State University opened a new $1.3 million driving simulation laboratory. The 5,800 square foot lab serves as a workshop where Ohio State University professionals, professors, and students collaborate with Honda to achieve a common goal. How can we reduce accidents? How can we make vehicles more safer, more intuitive? The key thing we're looking to understand is how the driver is thinking when they're driving. And it's not just when they're distracted, but it's also when they may be getting drowsy or daydreaming. And what can we do to stop it and what can we do to detect it? Research is conducted in one of the lab's three simulators. The desktop simulator, the drive-on simulator, and their advanced 260-degree cylindrical screen model, the full simulator. So we're interested in all aspects of driver behavior. We're interested in, obviously, driver distraction. So we're interested in how can you do other tasks in the vehicle simultaneously while you're driving. You're getting a fully immersive virtual driving experience. The fact that you really feel like you're driving an actual vehicle makes it possible to introduce all kinds of things into the driving situation. What do people do when they're driving and they see something, a distraction across the street? What happens to their eyes? How do people interact with music in the car? Those kinds of measures give us some physiological verif verification of the stress and workload that a driver is experiencing if he's trying to do multiple things at the same time. This simulator is amazing. It is state of the art. People at other universities are talking about the simulator here. Uh, so it's a big step forward, not just for Ohio State, not just for Honda, not just for the state of Ohio, but for, re for anyone interested in research that includes vehicles in it, period. While still early in its development, the Driver Simulation Lab aspires to be an innovative force in the field of safety. We're hoping to influence each and every model in some small way as we gain more and more information on how our drivers react when they're driving the vehicle. We here have an ability to work towards a solution that could save hundreds of thousands of lives in the United States alone, and if we take that to the world, millions. We see this as one of the ways that universities can partner with industry to build something that really creates a win for everybody. So this is a win for Honda R&D, this is a win for Ohio State, this is a win for our students, but it is also potentially a win for Ohio's economy.